violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Seen shootings in this violent week of the so far violent young year proving the gun insanity epidemic in New York City, especially the shooting last night of a little girl in the Bronx shot in the face and is now in the hospital. She was not the target. Instead, an innocent bystander caught in this gunman's complete disregard for the safety of others. Wow. So we got 11 month. 11 month old little girl shot in the face by this super gremlin and look how fast he's moving <clears throat> you're moving fast running and shooting a projectile object firearm they're not playing and like he said utter disregard they don't care they don't care this gunman's complete disregard for the safety of others. New York cops. Now and he's running that fast, still busting slack. You can see his draws. You can see the man's draws. <laughs> this gunman's complete disregard. He tried to pull his pants up. For the safety of others. New York cops now urgently, urgently looking for this guy. I would reporter Naveen Dhaliwal live at the scene. She's in Bedford Park for us. Naveen. Yeah, Deville, this is just awful. This little girl is turning a year old tomorrow. She should be at home celebrating her birthday with her family. But right now, she's recovering in a hospital, her parents by her side, after being shot in the face while she was in a car, a parked car here at this corner at East 198th and Valentine. And now city lawmakers say enough is enough, and they're vowing to stop this violence. These super gremlins ain't worth a damn. And I'll tell you what. I honestly don't think that this is the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. I think we have a lot more time for super gremlins to be on demon time than these city lawmakers or reporters are saying. Because this story really has not gone that viral it really hasn't you know i saw it on snapchat on the snapchat stories yeah people will look at it but they're not really going to pay attention that much like they don't understand that this is this is the pandemic within the pandemic this right here super gremlins on demon time Another shooting, another disregard for human life. This time, an 11 month old baby girl shot in the face in a parked car with her mother waiting for her father, who was in a deli. The senselessness of the violence, you know, that, that's a bit 11 months, hasn't even lived one year, did nothing to ask for that. Bronx DA Darcel Clark just beside herself as she learned the details. Now we got Darcel. Speaking on the super gremlins, let's keep it a bug. She letting them out. She's letting these dudes back out. They got no cash bail in New York. I'm sure this super gremlin had, a, a, you know, a, a rap sheet <laughs> the size of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, like, you know, buddy had a swift criminal history and, and it probably started when he was young to just be running out in the streets popping shots like that so it is this is a thorough gremlin now like this ain't one to be trifled with he a real savage and it, it, the system continues to fail in all the ways that people don't understand like they think that the system is too strict it's it's quite the opposite it's quite the opposite 
Darcel Clark just beside herself as she learned the details. Surveillance video shows a gunman seen chasing someone down the street around 645 last night on Valentine and East 198th. He fired two shots, one headed toward that parked car. That bullet travels through that vehicle, through the back of that car, through the back seat of that car, through that child, and through the front seat of that car, and the projectile ends up in that car. Police say when they arrived, the mother was cradling her baby. The girl's coat left in the street. That little girl was rushed to the hospital and placed on a ventilator. Overnight. Wow. Wow, man. You know, something does have to be done. Will there be something that gets done? Not likely. As long as the, the liberals are in control, as long as the liberals are in power in New York City, nothing will be done. They'll continue to try and throw money at the problem. Money ain't the problem, honey. Money ain't the problem, honey. Them dudes, they got bread. They got it. <laughs> it's crazy. Mayor Eric Adams met with the parents. First thing the mother did when she walked into the room is she grabbed our hands and she prayed. Adams, only 20 days on the job, but once again addressed his city. This time he was stern. I'm not going to surrender this city to okay. violence. And I'm not going to lead from the rear. I'm going to lead from the front. Man, he keeps saying he he's 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 saying a lot. Big talk. All this kind of stuff. I just don't have any faith in him. I really don't. Um and the reason why is because all he's doing is enforcing these mandates and the vaccine is and the vaccine and all that kind of stuff, bro. That's what's keeping these gremlins on the streets. They shutting down schools. They doing all this stuff. How do you not see the connection? You've got to be slow out your mind if you don't see the connection of closing down the schools, more super gremlins being out on the streets during the day. It it doesn't make sense to me. Like that virtual learning stuff, you, th you think these super gremlins who are already in ISS skipping class are going to attend a virtual learning session? Seriously? The motive for the shooting is still under investigation, but DA Clark has this message for that gunman. They're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. We're not gonna stop looking. And police are still searching for that gunman as well as that second person who was involved in that altercation. Thankfully, no one else hurt. We're live. In Heartbreaking story out of the Bronx tonight. The innocent victim of gunfire, a baby girl, just days away now from her first birthday. You can see surveillance video showing the moment that two shots were fired. News 4's Ida Siegel live in Bedford Park to explain how this happened. Ida. And David, this happened at just before 7 in the evening. You can see the scene and the street here is still blocked off by police. Police say the mother and father pulled their car over on the corner so dad could go into the deli and pick up some groceries. Suddenly, two shots are fired and one of the bullets hits the 11-month-old baby girl in the face. You can't even go grocery shopping, bro. It's that bad. <laughs> you better believe it you better believe it it's that bad all these liberal run cities it's that bad as she was still in the car a pink baby jacket sits in the middle of Valentine Avenue. Witnesses say it was ripped off in a panic after the 11-month-old child who wore it was shot tonight, sitting in the back seat of her parents' parked car. I saw the mother carrying the baby to the ambulance. The baby looked like it still had some life in it. Surveillance video shows two men racing down the street just before the shooting. One pulls out a gun 
and fires. Then he comes back around, taking off down 198th Street. This man was holding up his pants the whole time. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The straight disregard. The mother was sitting in the car with her baby at the time while the child's father was in the corner deli. She called 911 and pulled the little girl out of the car while she waited for help. The officers found a mother holding her 11-month-old baby. Her 11-month-old baby girl who suffered a gunshot wound to her left cheek. The officers immediately escorted the mother, the child, and the ambulance to St. Barnabas Hospital. Police are still investigating the motive behind this shooting, but both men left and are now on the run. My wife, she, she had seen a guy running, and she, like, like when the shots rang out, she was walking down Valentine towards Marion, and the guy ran past her, but she didn't get a good look at him. Police spent the evening searching. I mean, if she, if she got a good look at him, would she say something? We know how the community is. We know that no snitching policy. Would she say something? Because if she wasn't going to talk anyway, then it doesn't matter what she saw. Searching for evidence. Folks who live around here were sad and angry to learn what happened. I'm a mother. I pray for the mother. I'm so sad. That baby didn't do nothing to anybody. This is unacceptable. Okay. He's saying the, the baby didn't do nothing. I mean, there's countless stories where people didn't do anything to anybody and these super gremlins don't care. I mean, did the Asian lady who got pushed onto the train and killed do anything to that homeless man? No. Did the Asian man who got slashed in the face do anything to that? No. So I'm trying to tell you that these super gremlins do not care if you're a child, a woman, a man, a black man, a white man, an Asian man, it doesn't matter your race or ethnicity. These super gremlins are coming for you and they're on demon time. Acceptable and it needs to stop. Does it matter to me if it's a police officer shot or if it's a baby shot? I'm going to stay in these streets until this city is safe. And you can see Mayor Eric Adams there. He arrived on scene here in just the last 20 minutes, uh, very angry over what happened, promising that it will not happen again. Again, that baby. That's cap. It'll happen again, probably next week. <laughs> girl severely injured she's in critical condition at the hospital tonight although police say she is stable and yes her birthday her first birthday is in just a couple of days reporting live from bedford park ida siegel news 4 new york